Okay, I have these um, gingers that I'm getting ready to pickle. But I'm also, if you notice, they've got some new growth on them here. And I will be trimming these pieces off and I will be planting those. But I'm getting ready. Uh, that's what I'm right now is doing is I'm cutting those pieces off so I can plant those in pots outside. Nice, nice big ones. I have to tell you that just cutting a couple pieces off, um, the smell is wonderful. So before I peel them, I'm going to be cutting them into little sections. Let's see here. So I'm going to cut right down between those two. Put those in there to heal it over. some of this but I really want to pickle th some so this is what I'm going to keep off to the side and plant this is going to be peeled okay in order to start peeling move this down here take your spoon like this just a little teaspoon and you start creeping away. You can use a spoon, but also a peeler, like a potato peeler. But the potato peeler will take off a lot of skin, and this kind of gets, you know, the skin and the meat. And um, this ginger usually has a lot of ridges in it, so using a spoon is better. And you don't even have to cut it up to use the spoon because the spoon will get into all the little nicks and crannies. But I like cutting it up myself. Can you tell this is not real fresh ginger um, for pickling? kind that you really want is nice young pink stuff uh, but I love pickled ginger so I will eat anything this is what I could find in the store my plants um, didn't do very well while I was gone so they're just now starting to leaf out and so that's why I'm using store-bought ginger So there you go, that one is peeled. And you see how thin that gets. Not a whole lot of meat comes off with it. And your hands are gonna smell really good with this. be smelling ginger for days so if you don't like the smell of ginger too much on your hands I'd suggest wearing some gloves
that's how you peel ginger. So you can see all this stuff is actually going into my compost pile. These will get um, washed and um, sliced up uh, for the pickled ginger. And these I'm going to let heal. So I'm going to have them form a callus in the next day or two. Probably my day actually be um, tomorrow um, or the next day, depending on the humidity in the air, where how that will callus over. And then I'll get those in pots. All right. So I've got to get this cleaned up and then um, take care of the the newly peeled ginger. Let me show you what that looks like. So all of these, I've got to wash them up and pickle them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And check me on the next video where I will be pickling this ginger. Okay, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.